Justin Bieber came out with a live performance that was really, really bare bones of him performing Lonely. But is he really that lonely anymore? I don't really think so. Considering he just dropped this amazing new documentary, which is like a, an episodic thing that he does throughout his life. He's one of the biggest pop stars ever, and of this generation, of course. And in this documentary, he kind of talks about that and what this whole life experience has taught him. The thing is though, is that not many people can really pull off a move like this, especially someone in his shoes that has experienced the things that he's experienced of pop stardom, extreme momentum from a fan base, and well, always topping the charts, no matter what he drops basically. It's really kind of a miracle that he's still alive, to be quite frank, because anybody else might have just taken their own life. That is kind of the mental health break that they take when you were going through something like this and not to say that it's a given or that I'm encouraging that type of direction not at all but I think it's really safe to say that anyone who is that young who well becomes one of the biggest artists in the world like that I think it's safe to say that anyone would kind of have a mental breakdown but instead Justin's still here and he's still growing at an amazing pace and he is still on top and he will stay there as long as he keeps doing what he's doing and he will continue doing amazing performances like this, where he does Lonely under a spotlight with just the mic and a piano. This really shows that he's in this kind of new era of pop stardom, whereas he doesn't really want to project this idea of, yeah, I'm this big pop star that had mental health issues. But more so, I'm this big pop star that made it through these mental health issues, and I'm showing you that you can do the same thing if you're dealing with something similar. And at the same time, I'm going to continue making these massive hits. It's really quite a genius move on his part, in a branding perspective and a marketing perspective, to take this direction of positivity and showing people what he's made out of. In order to get his music out there, he really has to depict a certain image of somebody who knows what they are doing and who knows where they are going. Coming from a massive stage audience, if you think about what that can do to your ego and your spirit, to then go into this kind of performance of Lonely, it really tells the story of, yeah, I know I'm one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Most of these pop stars could probably take it with a grain of salt, or they could be how I was, like at 18 or 17 or 19 and go wreck Lambos or whatever he used to do that got him. Anyone remember when he was on that stage and he just kept on getting dissed? It takes a certain genius of a pop star to be able to last throughout this decade and take their whole opportunity and make something even bigger out of it. And he knows exactly where he came from and who he is, who he was. He knows this opportunity that is at his hands. Like most of us might think, do these pop stars think about the trajectory that they are getting? Well, most might not. Most might take it for granted, but Justin doesn't. And for someone who gets called up by Drake to like take his place of a music video for pop star, well, it's kind of insane that we don't have more people like this that take their opportunity and just do kindness from it. And it's not just that he's kind, empathetic, and he has humility as a regular person might, but he also knows how to market himself on other platforms that aren't just Spotify and iTunes. But think about Come Around Me on TikTok, that trend was massive. And he even put himself in that trend because he knows how to work the market. But the genius behind it is that he knows that none of that would have worked if he hadn't put it out in a positive manner, in a way that it was efficient. Like, you can't just make music and expect it to pop. You have to know how to master that and how to take it to its fullest potential. If we go back 10 years, he was literally on the steps and nobody was paying attention to him. He was just showing off his talent on the guitar. Now, when he does it, well, he can't do it anymore because swarms of his audience will want to watch and take pictures and take his autograph and at this point he's probably not in the mood to actually do that for his mental health. I mean could you imagine swarms of an audience following you around 24-7 while you're growing up then dealing with that later on in your 20s? You might want to deal with that a different way now right? Well it's quite genius of him to realize this as a young adult in his mid-20s who knows how to deal with the momentum and the mental health break that he had taken and well now he knows that he has to grow into an efficient and healthy adult if he wants to make this last throughout his whole life. I guess that's one of the big points here is that you can find what you love, what you're good at and make a career out of it but will you make that career last? Well 10 decades that's pretty much how long we're all living now. That's kind of a huge key of it and it shows how genius someone might be of how they can control that throughout 
their entire lifespan. I mean, just consider how many one-hit wonders there has been, and how many people that actually make their career last, and how they do that and get through it. So with the performance of Lonely, of course it is a song about how he was lonely, and how he has grown to achieve greater than that, and deal with the feeling of loneliness. He knows that he's not alone. So, yeah, he really wants to show us, yeah, it's okay to feel like this, but it is not okay to hold it in. You can deal with it a better way than how I have. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'm going to show you through this beautiful documentary that frankly has some gorgeous cinematography and a really, really good storyline. I love how they set up all of these shots. And I love how half of this documentary is literally just someone with a type of camera like the one I have where you can just pick it up, go and follow this huge pop star and take clips of every living moments that they are going through and you can have clips from five years ago or ten years ago and make a story out of that show the growth of somebody i think that's a really really good thing that they included in this new documentary where it shows him really really young and he is looking at the screen and showing us yeah i remember that and i know how i was feeling and i'm not the same guy anymore i'm a better guy than i was then because now i know how to deal with these things i know how to take my pop stardom and really, really do something with it that is productive for not just myself, but for my wife, for my fans, for my team, for everybody. He is the biggest entertainer alive. Very, very few artists can reach the momentum that he has, but even fewer can reach the momentum that he has and really consider what he is doing with it. For someone to be able to reflect that well and know where they stand and know where they want to go, that is someone who is very, very rare, which means that he's probably going to be a one-of-a-kind, obviously, because Justin Bieber is like the household name that we all know now, right? But I think it's going to stay that way for a long time. If you think about every artist that has made it, maybe like Michael Jackson, there hasn't really been anyone before them, or after them. It takes a long time to reach one-of-a-kind for every generation. Every couple of hundred years we get somebody like this, but not really more often than that. Maybe Ariana Grande, but then again, they are two different celebrities. Not really the same thing in that case. But her too. I love R&B and she just released a pop R&B album and it is great. Both of their albums are amazing, so if you haven't heard either of them, you need to right now. So I hope that Justin Bieber comes out with more documentary of a series for this first documentary. I'm, I'm sure he probably will be because that's kind of his thing of storytelling and whatnot, but... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video or it has provided some value for you. I hope you have a good day or night and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I want this to last. I want this to, you know, I don't know what's going to come next. What? 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 Oh God! If I can use this gift to help people, I just, just what I want to do.